Today we'll be taking a look at the Kohler Catherine toilet, basically a fancy one piece class 5 with some slight different looks. I'm not entirely sure when this toilet was first introduced, although it has definitely been around since the 2010s and is still offered to this very day. This is basically kind of a throwback toilet, in a way, with some modern technology but with a classic design. But is it worth spending almost $900 to over $1000 on this thing? No. But let's still take a look at it and see what this toilet has to offer. Let's start off with the overall design, and this thing does look pretty nice. It's got a very classic looking design, and I think they nailed it pretty well. As you can see, the trapways are concealed, but it's basically just a class 5 trapway passage. If you've seen it before, it's pretty standard. You also have this flush lug right here where you pull up instead of, you know, the standard pull down handle. So this one's one of those fancy handles. And you got a nice looking tangler to go along with it. The trapway opening is interesting to say the least. It's basically just a rectangle with a siphon jet. The tank parts are pretty standard outside of the handle being different. As you can see it has a fluid master fill valve and of course the dreaded aqua piston which is awful. But I've already mentioned enough about it so you know why I feel about these aqua pistons. They suck. But outside of that, the tank parts are pretty standard for a modern Kohler. So I want to point out one major flaw I noticed with these particular tank parts. As you can hear, the fill valve is still going, even though it's overfilled, but it keeps filling until it eventually cuts off. So not only are the parts not good, they overfill, so it means they're wasting more water than they need to. Why? Let's have a look at a flush. Let's first do a press and release. Unsurprisingly, the flush sucks. Now let's hold the handle up. Unsurprisingly, it is not much better. So I really don't have much to add that I haven't added before about really any class 5. The pulling factor, unsurprisingly, is crap on a press and release, but is it as terrible as a regular Highland or Woolworth class 5? Uh, I definitely at least noticed that this actually uses 1.28 gallons per flush on a press and release, unlike the Kohler Highline Woolworth class 5, which press and releases and uses like literally less than a gallon which is not advertised unless you actually get that specific toilet. So at least this tries to use 1.28, but the pull factor is still crap, as well as the siphon. Now if you hold the handle up, it is improved significantly, but still not very perfect. I still say in the middle of the road when it comes to the pulling factor, but like I said, at least it actually tries unlike the regular class size that you're used to, like the high lines. So I guess there is some slight credit to this, although not much. The performances also aren't really much better compared to that of a standard class 5. On a press and release, it's not very good because of the pulling factor and just the lower water usage not being very great. Although, I do see this performing alright if you actually hold the handle up. But outside of that, performance is really nothing special. Now let's have a look at ball rinse. <laughs> Yeah, the ball rinse is still pretty garbage. Which is not very shocking considering that they have straight down rim jets and it's applied poorly. Here's another angle. Even holding the handle down doesn't really improve much either. As you can kind of see, it's not, still not very great. And that's all there is to say about the Color Catherine toilet. 
basically a fancy one piece of crap. It's basically just a glorified class 5 of a classic design, but outside of that, this toy is not much better than any standard class 5. And do you feel like really paying around $900 to over $1,000 for this thing? Uh, no. But let's put this into the grading scale. Let's grade it. The overall design of the Cola Catherine is quite nice, honestly. I really like the classic designs that this thing goes for, and it looks great. Cola did a great job designing this toilet. For the overall design, it gets an 8. The tank parts are more or less the same as any class 5, except the color top Floor Master Fail Valve is slightly different. It's still quite crappy though, and the Aqua Piston sucks as always. With this particular one, I noticed that this one overfills a lot and takes a while to finally shut off. It might just be a problem with this particular one, but I wouldn't be shocked if this is an issue on other Catherines as well. The parts get a free. They're kind of crap. While the Quillet Control is nowhere near as bad as most Class 5s, it's still pretty bad. Ballwins is still definitely the biggest issue, and while the performance is slightly better, it's nowhere near as perfect. There are also some other qualities too that aren't as great either with this particular toilet. But, like most modern toilets, it's kind of an every company issue. The quality control gets a 4. While the trapway opening is different, the trapway itself, outside of the opening, is practically identical. So it gets a 5. The flush still unsurprisingly sucks. On the lower end score, it gets a 2, while on high end score, it still only gets a free. Because it still sucks. The pull factor is still unsurprisingly crap, but nowhere near as terrible as some other class 5s. It's still pretty crappy though at the end of the day, and I give it a free on the lower end score. And on the high end score, it's still quite bad due to the choppiness and regurgitation of the flush. It gets a 4. Performance on the lower end score is not very good and I give it a 4. However, on the higher end score, it seems to perform alright. A lot better compared to most class 5s, so I'll give it a 6. Unsurprisingly, the ball run still sucks. Not the worst ever compared to some other class 5s, but it still sucks. On the low end score, it gets a 2, while on the high end score, it gets a 3. It still has the same rinsing problems as many class fights out there. The survivability isn't really all too good, all things considered, but in comparison to some other class fights, it's slightly better. On the low end score, it gets a 4, while on the high end score, it just gets a 5. Now let's talk about the overall value of this toilet and see if it's worth getting today. So, have you ever thought about wasting so much money on a fancy One Piece Class 5 with some slight improvements? Well, this toilet is just for you. For around $900 or over $1,000, you can pay for one piece of crap with some nice designs and that's pretty much it. Compared to some other Class 5s I've reviewed, there are some slight improvements, like the performance for example, but outside of that, it's still the same crappy class 5 that you expect. The flush sucks, the ball run still sucks, and the pulling factor really is not much better compared to some other class 5s. So why would you want to spend close to around $1,000 for a toilet that only has the design going for it? Yeah, this thing's a one piece of crap. I appreciate the efforts on the design, but no amount of money is worth buying for a slightly improved piece of crap class 5. It's not worth it. On the lower end score, it gets a 2, while on the high end score, it gets a 3. Now it's time to talk about the final scores of the Cola Catherine One Piece Toilet. On the lower end score, it gets a 37 out of 100, while on the high end scale, it gets a 44 out of 100. Sure, this is a slightly better, and I emphasize better, not really, one of the better class 5s out there, but it's still a piece of crap at the end of the day. I don't see any reason to spend over one grand on a toilet that still can barely do the bare minimum and it's overall pretty subpar even with some of its improvements. 
It's not worth it. So much for the fancy designs because this thing's still a piece of crap.